everyone. Welcome to my kitchen and my dining room. And for now, it's going to be my school room. I wanted to show you some things that we've put into our life so that we can move nutritiously through our day. So this is a special topic. I usually don't cover things like this, but um, I think you could come away with some good ideas for your school if you've been wanting to move better throughout your day with alignment and if you're running a small school in your home like me. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you here is this little chalk easel. This I usually prop up on my my kitchen island here um, because it's a good place where my student can stand and his head is about right here. So when he extends his arm, he's moving this way. And this is really good to free up your arm for better drawing. But also, I will set this on a table with a grippy mat underneath. And he has been doing his copy work here as well. Um, I really like to get him to practice his copy work on this scale before he moves to a piece of paper and is practicing with a pencil. So this is the first thing that I really like. Second idea that I have for you is to make yourself a drawing horse. A drawing horse is usually something that um, students in drawing schools will use. And you sit yourself here and you've got your legs out. And again, your arm is freed up to move across the paper. I have a couple yoga blocks here that I've used to stabilize this. And usually I have a better piece of furniture behind it to stabilize the back. The thing with this is that you definitely don't want your board moving, shifting, wobbling, and getting wonky. So you need to have it stable. Um, and so I'll usually put a grippy mat, which I don't have. Things are going all over on my house right now because we're in the process of moving. But the crochet piece is to show you where to put the grippy mat. And those are just those things that you can put into drawers and help things not slip around or on shelves to not help, to help prevent from things slipping around. Okay, so again, if I could just show you what I mean, first point perspective here, this is what you would be able to do at a drawing horse. Um, and then you usually all have, if it's observational drawing time, I've usually set a piece of furniture here with the thing on top so that you can look Another note too is to make sure that you know where the light is coming in, in your room. You don't wanna be casting shadows. So if you see my hand shadow here is on the right. So <laughs> yeah, you have to stabilize this better than what I did. You wanna see your work. Okay, so third thing is this guy. This is a new member of our family. Our chalkboard I love it it is just a sheet of plywood and it's painted with chalk paint a couple coats of that and it's awesome because he's at the height to where he could stand at this and draw at it or you always have the option of sitting on the floor sitting on the floor is just way better for your hips again it's still a posture that you can be in so that you have a free arm to draw um, you can also do copy work in this position too. And I know that if you have boys like me, sometimes it's just better for them to get up and do something else with their body than be sitting at a desk. So consider these three options and let me know what you think and let me know ways that you move throughout your day in your school time. And maybe if you're having some challenges, put some questions in the comments or give me your ideas too. Okay. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.